Is this what you want? Yeah, I guess. Assistant Steve, with your head, what do you think the chance of surviving going into the armor is? Seeing as I've never been inside of the armor, I cannot tell you what is in there. I would give us a 5% chance of survival. That is not good. You want my help or not? 5% is all you're gonna get. We doing this? Because if we are, let's do it now and get it over with. I... fine. A hero's journey rises and falls, their quest for the light in which the rainbow calls. My journey cannot end, not until I face that of which is unbreakable. I can't believe we're actually going to speak to Hypno. Hey, there he is. Why is he just standing there? Hello, hello you two. Hello, 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 hello. I know you wish to speak to me. What is it? Um, Hypno, we need help. You need my help again! Have I not helped you enough? I just wish to be left in peace. Is that too much to ask for after everything I've been through? Maybe it is. I don't know, okay? But us three are the only people that are still existing in this world other than the first curse and his armor. Ah, yes, the first curse. How intriguing. You know, I was actually curious as to my own fate when he would emerge, but it seems he couldn't do anything about it. What do you mean? He is referencing his own life, Saber. Huh? You mean... You didn't even know what was going to happen to you with the first curse? And you knew about him? Of course I knew about him. I know exactly how everything's going to end. Other than things that occur within my own path. Either way, the first curse is intriguing. But seeing as I'm still here, it appears as though he has no power over me. That's good to know. Sure, that is good to know. Wait, that's right. Why didn't he do anything to you? I mean... You're a Steve. The Red Leader here no longer is only a Red Steve. He is not able to be absorbed by the armor. What? Why? The Professor's experiment on him changed him. He added something which prevented the First Curse from absorbing him. And what was that? You moron. You don't know? You haven't figured it out. Come on! I lost my sanity, but I'm still alive because of what the Professor did to me. Because of the sample he took from you. The sample? That's right. That's right, he did that! Wait, so the first curse? He... he couldn't do anything to you because he... Because the professor used a sample of me to keep you alive? Then that's... That means that the first curse wasn't trying to absorb me ever. He knew he couldn't. He can't do that? No. no, no, no he can't no, do no. that. It's simple. And by the way, Red Leader, please, that is my line saying, you moron. But yes, Saber, you moron, of course he couldn't absorb you. You are not a Steve. And the first curse thrives off of curses dwelling within Steve's. So then us three are only here because we're the only ones that can't be absorbed by that armor? That is correct, moron. Well, then what do we do? I don't have any powers anymore. It's been a while since I even had any. I can't do anything. Not without your guys' help. I, no, I know you just want to be left alone. But do you truly want to be this alone with no one else here? It is true. M, or the new Red Leader, your apprentice, has been taken as well. I know for a fact that you have an emotional connection to him and wish for him to return. What did you just say? I have an emotional connection to him. You think you know me, little assistant robot? I know the professor created you. I also know that he created parameters for you to be kind to me, but I don't want your kindness. I don't need your kindness. Plus, of course I want the leader, my apprentice, to return. <laughs> I'm not trying to hide that. But do I want him to return enough to have to work with a robot and a moron? I don't know. Can I... Can you guys stop insulting me? We have to get him back. All of them. You know that just as well. Hypno. It is true, Red Leader. You must help us and assist us. 
My systems cannot help Saber more than I already have. You have abilities beyond both of us. Please, assist us and return my creator back to me. Hypno, there's gotta be a way, right? You know it. Of course you know it. You know what the outcomes of everything are, right? So, please, you have to help us. And in return, what do I get? You get your apprentice back. I know you'll do it for him. I know that's enough for you. Even if I do help him, even if I do help you, all of you, I don't have a guarantee in a solution, but I do have some ideas. Really? Like what? Red Leader, if you are going to suggest we go into the armor, I have already thought about that and have concluded it is not possible. Well, not exactly, but it's possible. You just didn't think about it like a steep. You thought about it like a robot. A robot? I am programmed to think like the professor and a Steve. Now, just because I am not a real Steve, it doesn't give you the right to insult me. Red Leader, please be more polite. Can you guys please explain to me what you're thinking here? Come on. I mean, there's got to be something here, right? Assistant and Hypno, you both mentioned going into the armor. What are you talking about? The armor is what absorbed everybody. You truly want to do that right now? It is not possible, at least not for me to compute. So, but you said, you said you had an idea, Hypno? He's a robot. He doesn't know. He can only compute what he's seen, his experiences, but I've seen the end. Plus, I can create illusions. I have abilities beyond what I had as a red Steve. Well, we can go into the army. We have to force our way in. It's true, like Assistant Steve said, we can't be absorbed by the armor. In that way, it's not able to be entered, but we can force our way in. I do warn you though, Saber, when we enter, you will not like what you see. So, is this what you want? Yeah, I guess. Assistant Steve, with your, I don't know, with your head, what do you think the chance of surviving going into the armor is? It is hard to tell. Seeing as I've never been inside of the armor, I cannot tell you what is in there. The Red Leader here apparently knows more than I do about it, but chances of surviving those two are pretty slim already. I would give us a 5% chance of survival. That is not good. You want my help or not? 5% is all you're gonna get. We doing this? Because if we are, let's do it now and get it over with. I, I wish we had more time to, I don't know, prepare. Come on, please. I mean, just give me some time. Maybe I can find some kind of weapon that could take him down. You can probably help me do that too. No, you want my help, you get it now. We go now or I back out. So, what'll it be? Choose. I... I suggest you go now. We all do. Saber, this is our only chance. Fine, where do we even go then? How are we gonna get in there? I can bring us into the armor. Don't forget, I was a Red Steve. <laughs> With the most knowledge in the world of any existing Steve out there. I know how to get us in. Maybe not for a long time, but when we're in there, maybe we can at least save a few people. Or all of them. That is up to you. So, how are we gonna even get there? I mean, even if we teleport there, there's gonna be lightning and the first curse will hear us. Have you not been paying attention? I'm a Red Steve, at least I used to be. I can obviously silently teleport us there. <sighs> this guy. I can't believe even a robot has been putting up with you. Trust me, it is not easy. He is quite the moron. But nonetheless, I am programmed to cooperate with him. Just <sighs> Hypno, please. Silently teleport us there. Let's go back to the swamp. Okay, you got it. Back at the swamp. I hate this place. It's terrifying. We are indeed back at the swamp. I will not be approaching that building you spoke of earlier. What? It's us three. We all have to go, Assistant Steve. No, I am programmed to protect the Red Kingdom. First and foremost, the core must survive. If not, everything will be lost. I'm happy to help you this far, but you two must go from here. I... Uh, Hypno? I don't care about this robot. If he wants to stay, he can stay. We don't need him where we're going. But Assistant Steve, I- What's the matter, Saber? Have you grown emotionally attached to me? I am but a robot, you moron. I- Okay, just 
please try and be hidden before you shut down or something. I don't know. Maybe a little off the path, at least. I guess thanks for helping me get this far, assistant. I'll see you again, right? Yes. Do not worry. Now shutting down. Okay. Well, I guess it's just you and I, Hypno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Emotional yeah. moment. Ha ha. Oh, oh my gosh. Sorry. Everything's so sad. Let's get moving. Okay. The building, church thing, I don't even know what it is. It's huge. We've got to be careful, you know? I mean, the first curse is going to be in there. Are we going to try and sneak in, or are we going to try and get into the armor without the first curse seeing us? What's the plan? Yes. Let's go around the first curse. We just need to find a moment when the armor is alone. If we can sneak in without the first curse even noticing, then we'll get in there extremely clean and get back out without him even knowing. Okay. Well, then let's go. We're just going to have to be careful and watch where, I don't know, the first curse even is and where the armor is. I think I see the armor, where it was last time I saw it. The first curse must be gone. Wherever he was last time I approached this building. Maybe working on something else? I don't know. Either way, he came from the back of the building. He could be back there again. Good. That means that we might have some time to be able to get inside of that armor. When we do, you need to stay near me. If not, it may not go well for either of us. Yeah, okay, come on. So, there's not a lot of space. I mean, it's out in the open. Is this really the only way? Let's just get this over with. This writing on the ground looks familiar. I don't like it. Let's just keep going. Follow me. Up the stairs. Okay. I don't see him anywhere. It's so quiet in this place. Okay. Careful. Hypno, careful. The armor's right there. We've just got to see if it's alone first. It seems alone. Is this really it? So what? Do we just walk up to it and then we're good? Yes. Let's go. Okay. I'm right behind you. It's alone. It doesn't look like the armor does anything unless it's being told by the first curse to be, I don't know, taking any action. So I don't think it's even going to do anything to us. It's like it's in its own state of sleep or something. Let's go. We just need to get inside of this armor. I don't see the first curse anywhere. So, come on. You're right. Okay, here goes nothing. No. Here goes nothing, literally. You are not going to do anything. You really returned back here. You fool. And you brought a friend. Ah, I can sense it. He's a Steve, but more than that. You two aren't going anywhere. 